What's up, Tech family? I'm Chef Greg, and we're gonna show you how to turn those leftover Thanksgiving turkey into the most epic turkey pot pie. Because you know what? Ray loves turkey pot pie, and uh, I took all the turkey after our friend's giving. If you want this recipe more, make sure you like and subscribe at Rectech.com. Let's get started. All right, so we've got three cups of our shredded turkey. It's kind of a mixture of uh, white meat, dark meat. We've got some leftover vegetables, some potatoes, and this is a great way to utilize a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, everybody in the pool. But if not, you can use uh, your favorite frozen mixed vegetables. And we had some roasted potatoes left over, and we're just gonna go ahead and put them in. And all this stuff is already really delicious. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with that Colton's Freaking Greek, right about a teaspoon or so. Just a little extra mo flavor. Same thing with that Ben's Heifer Dust, about a teaspoon or so. And don't tell anybody, but my secret ingredient, that four letter rub, I mean, it is that all purpose deliciousness. We'll do one large can of cream of chicken. And probably the most controversial ingredient, some sour cream. It's delicious, okay? Wouldn't lie to you guys. Then depending on how thick that is, you might need a splash of chicken or turkey stock. Maybe like a quarter cup, you don't need a lot. We don't want this to be like a runny pot pie. It's gonna be nice and thick and delicious. Maybe Ben Logan put that Chef John th 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 thick. Th 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 thick. It's one of my family's favorite go-tos. And then dig it in the freezer. I didn't have any pie dough left over, but I did find a package of puff pastry dough. Right here, if it ever comes out of here. Okay, that's it, puff pastry, super simple. We got this uh, buttered baking dish right here. And see the beauty of this is it kind of just fills the whole side. Just like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this up. And uh, you know, again, if I was left-handed, this would be a thousand times better, but I'm not, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, and this is probably too much mixture, but that's okay. It means I can make two. Just like that, bada bing, bada boom. And these are kind of small casserole dishes and uh, don't tell anybody. That second sheet, we're actually going to use two thirds of that second sheet because this one's kind of small, just like that. And to make it kind of like really cool when it bakes, we're just gonna kind of cut little hash marks in it. And you can spray this with a little bit of butter on the top. We're actually gonna use a little bit of pan spray because it's right here. And then maybe just a little bit more of that Colton's Freaking Greek over the top. We got that RT340 preheated to 375 degrees with those ultimate blend pellets because we are cooking the ultimate turkey pot pie. About 45 minutes till it's golden brown, delicious, poofy, bubbly, and hot. It's dinner. See you at the Rec Tech. I love leftovers. Okay, if you bring something like that to the dinner table, there's no way your family is not gonna enjoy it. I love utilizing leftover, uh, my Thanksgiving leftovers for pot pie. Why not? It's amazing. Jody and John asked me to make the most amazing turkey pot pie for lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head to the office and uh, give these guys a bite, but not before I kind of dive in on the side. Woo, chow please. Oh man, I'm telling you, the sour cream in there just gives this a whole other level of delicious. For more recipes like this, make sure you jump over to rectech.com. See you at the Rectech.